as IRCC has held yet another express entry draw today. This time, the draw size was a bit larger than the previous draws. Unexpected, held after 12 days. And finally, the express entries CRS points in this particular cutoff have dropped even by a smaller bit, but still dropped than the previous draw of the all program. Guys, we will be discussing everything about this particular express entry uh, draw today. And also we will be analyzing the pool as to what can be expected in the upcoming draws from express entry. Please be tuned till the end. My name is Sahil. Guys, welcome back once again. My name is Sahil and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and I practice in Ontario. My office is here. If you have to get in touch with me, my number is on the screen and the details are there in the description box. More than happy to speak with you. Before we proceed any further, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because we talk a lot about Canadian immigration. And if you are an aspirant of moving to Canada, then this is a channel that you must be subscribed to all the time. So guys, we are discussing the very latest express entry draw that was held by IRCC in terms of inviting people to apply for permanent residence under the Express Entry program. Guys, today's draw was extremely special because it was an all program draw. That means no specific category was specified in this particular draw. People from FSW, CC, PNP, even the categories that are there under Bill C-19, everybody was invited. This particular draw size was held at uh, 300, uh, 3,725 invitations and the CRS cutoff was kept at 500 only. Now this particular cutoff was four points lower than the previous all program draw that was held on September 26th, 2023. So if you remember the last streak of express entry draws that was held between 26th and the 28th. And the previous draw was held on the 28th of September, which was mainly oriented towards the agriculture and the agri-food pilot, uh, the agri-food occupations of uh, the Bill C-19 categories that were declared. Guys, uh, today's draw, after today's draw, the pool is also looking very promising because uh, there are all in all about 213,000 people approximately in the pool as of October 10, 2023. Now let's just have a closer look at how many people are there in each segment of the uh, the pool's scores on the CRS points. Now between 601 and 1200, there are about 1210 candidates and between 501 and 600, there are about 2,237 candidates. So this brings a total of approximately 3,447 candidates above 501 now between 491 and 500 about 4508 candidates are there and between 481 and 490 uh, 9121 candidates are there guys the important part here to look at is just at the mark of 500 you are expecting around 300 odd people because you know above 501 there are about 3447 on 500, there should be about approximately 300 people. Hence, that is why the draw size was 3,725 today. Guys, this really tells us that every point makes a huge difference in IRCC. So whenever people talk about, say, one point here and there, one point claiming for, you know, the, um, the IELTS scores or maybe in listening, speaking, reading, writing, whatever it may be, every point will count because the cutthroat competition in terms of express entry when it's, you know, going above 500 nowadays is extremely important for you to note. Guys, all in all, the pool has approximately 213,592 candidates as of October 10th. After this particular draw today, uh, we will have lesser candidates than this, but every week, you know, more and more candidates keep on getting added. Uh, guys, IRCC held this particular draw after 12 days from the previous draw, which means, you know, again, a streak of unexpected draws. We don't know whether tomorrow is going to be yet another draw because it has been seen that IRCC is sort of holding draws back to back. Hopefully tomorrow there is another draw, but as long as today's draw is concerned, you have 60 days to upload the documents. If you want to discuss any of your situations, cases, or if you want to file your case, please feel free to schedule a consultation with us. We would be more than happy to discuss your case and help you going forward. Guys, 
we wish you all the best and we really hope to see you soon in Canada. All the best.